All right, so we're gonna get started with the basics of a uh, pressure washer trailer setup that we have here. You may be somewhat familiar with a pressure washer, perhaps from Home Depot or Lowe's or something, but this is a lot more advanced, and so we're just gonna take time to introduce you to the basics of what we have here. Um, so you're looking at the whole trailer. Um, the first thing that kind of sticks out is this water tank, also known as a buffer tank. Um, when you get a pressure washer from like Home Depot or Lowe's, a lot of times they're what we call three gallons a minute or four gallons a minute. And you don't really necessarily need a buffer tank because you have enough water supply from the hose directly from the house. But uh, on our machines, the first machine we'll go over here shortly is an eight gallon a minute machine. And the one in the back is a five and a half gallon minute machine. And when you combine those two, or if you're just solely running the eight gallon minute machine, it's not enough water coming out of the spigot from a regular house to keep up with that. So that's why you have a buffer tank. Um, this holds up to 550 gallons. Uh, typically we like to keep it about half full. Um, you don't want to be traveling uh, with that much weight uh, holding the trailer down. Um, so a good rule of thumb is to keep it somewhere between 75 gallons to 250 gallons as we're working. Um, it's imperative that if you got both machines going, two or three machines going, that one guy keeps an eye on the water levels at all times because if you run out of water, then you can cause some major damage. You can cause the pumps to shut down. And so um, this is a very important piece of the whole trailer setup. Um, so again, this is called a buffer tank and it's important that we keep uh, an eye on the water levels at all times. Um, this right here, this is uh, obviously our reels that we got the hoses connected to. This is called the pressure wash hose. Um, it's a high pressure hose. It holds up to, I believe, 6,000 PSI. On our machines, we typically run somewhere between two to 3,500 PSI. Um, but this, ho this hose holds up to 6,000. And then this is just our water supply hose. Uh, if you look over here, this is another pressure wash hose. Um, but these little things you see on the side, these are called bypass valves. Um, you'll get familiar, we do a lot of what we call downstreaming. Um, in simple terms, we've got this little draw tube here. It's connected to this, it runs to our pressure wash hose. And right here, this is our chemical tank. I'm not going to actually dip it in, but I'll just simulate. This would just go right into our chemical tank. So when we're ready to spray chemical, soaps and bleach and whatever we're spraying that day, um, this would get dropped into here. In order to draw the, the chemical though, this bypass allows us to have restricted flow or full flow. And so this is called a ball valve. And when we want full flow, uh, when we're running a surface cleaner, or we need to rinse a lot, we want this on full flow. And the way you know it's full flow is it's parallel. Um, when we wanna draw our soaps or chemicals, we actually restrict the flow by simply turning that valve. And now we'll be able to draw soap. If it's at full flow, it will not draw soap. So one of the first things you wanna do is if you're out there and you're washing a house or a driveway or whatever we have you washing that day um, and you're not drawing chemical, the first thing you want to look at is right here on your chemical bypass to see if make sure that you have restricted flow. Otherwise, you're not going to draw any chemical. Again, when you're ready to rinse or not draw soap, you put it on full flow and you'll be good to go. Now, keep in mind, once you put it on full flow, for about 10 seconds, you'll still have soap in the line because it's still in the line. So don't panic. Once it goes to full flow, you'll be all right. Just keep in mind for about 10 seconds, you'll still have some chemical in the line because on average, we run about 200 feet of hose on each one of these reels. Um, if we ever need more hose, it's, it's very rare. Probably 95 out of 100 jobs 200 feet of hose is just fine, but we have some extra hose just in case we run into those times that we need some extra hose. So this is the reels. Um, they're all electric, 
to roll them up, there's a little black button here that we'll push. Um, these are the chemical bypass that allows us to draw soap and get full flow when we need it. back here this is a five and a half gallon minute machine so in layman terms what that means is five and a half gallons of water pumps through this hose per minute um, the other machine up here this is an eight gallon a minute machine and that just simply means eight gallons of eight gallons of water pump through this machine per minute um, theoretically speaking now once it runs through 200 feet of hose you're not truly getting eight gallons a minute but that gives you an idea um, one thing to keep in mind when you're drawing soap from each one of these you're going to draw a stronger chemical with the five and a half gallon or a lower GPM than you are a higher um, and if you think about that science it makes sense because there's less water flowing through the hose to dilute the chemical that you're trying to spray. Um, so with the eight gallon a minute machine, you're not gonna get as strong of a chemical um, because you've got eight gallons a minute flowing through that hose versus a five and a half gallon a minute machine. Um, so the lower the GPM, the stronger the mix you're gonna be able to receive. Another item that we use daily, this is called surface cleaner our rack broke and so we're having that fixed uh, tomorrow actually but it generally fits onto this rack here but today the guys had to put it on the side until it gets fixed so, this is what we call a surface cleaner um, we will hook it up here and we've got a little trigger there and that's when you're ready to go and this cleans all of our flat surfaces concrete pavers um, all, any flat work is what we, we use this 99% uh, of the time to get a nice even thorough clean this is called a whisper wash surface cleaner and that's the basics of our typical machine we have in service